Okay. So, just a little uh, midnight run here. Spin the circle while I talk. I don't know how much you can see behind me. Just to see if you can guess where I'm at. But, uh, oh. This is my short run. When I don't have a whole lot of time or oh, or when I just want to you know, two or three hundred calorie burn. Then I'll come up this way. Uh, you can't really see, but you can see the string of lights there a little bit. So that uh, yeah, that is 200 south here in Salt Lake City. So I live just off of that street, and I run straight up the hill, up these steps that you can't see, and right up here to the entrance of the main building of the University of Utah. So there's a little identifier that's on our doors. So there's that and the statue here. Let's see how much this is John Rocky Park. Uh, can't really tell. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Anyways, um, this round trip is two miles for me, so between 250 and 300 calories is what I burn doing it on average. It's nice, gets me an uphill to push me through the first mile and then a downhill to take an easy speed run back. So if I do that in just a, you know, 20 minutes or so just to take it easy, then that uh, gives me a nice, nice leisurely run. I definitely don't have the time that I used to. Uh, used to have my six minute mile, which is of course my first goal to get down to. Uh, so I've got a couple minutes to go on that for my PR since I started running again. But I'm really enjoying it. It's beautiful. It's midnight, like I said earlier, it's a midnight run for me. Uh, sometimes my wife thinks I'm kind of nuts, but I. Let's see if you can see, yeah, uh, you can see it's snowing. It's really nice. That's why I've got the goggles on. I don't mind looking like a dork because they don't fog up. You know, I'm sweating just as much as not more than I would snowboarding. So, or mountain biking. So, I uh, really value that they don't fog up. And it's great for night. I can see really well and can't really tell that it's dark out between the headlamp and the amber lens I've got on these. But uh, and I've got some nice thick gloves. Also, I feel like a dork because they look like boxing gloves pretty much. Uh, in fact, my wife and I played around with them kind of like that earlier, just like boxing gloves, because this is my hand, and that's my hand with the glove, which is huge, but it's way better than getting cold, so last time I went out, when it's all that wind, I didn't take any gloves, and regretted it, because I could barely eat my sandwich and trail mix that I had packed. So that was uh, that's something that said just reminded me, hey, you know, look like a dork if you have to, but don't get hurt. I'm glad it was just by being cold instead of something else. That's the same reason I'm looking around to get some micro spikes. I had some yak tracks before, and I put them in storage and can't find them. So if anyone that sees this has used 
some micro spikes that they liked or particularly didn't like, then please leave me a comment and let me know what your suggestions are to get or to avoid. I've looked at the Catulas, I think that's what they're called. Uh, they seem to be fairly highly recommended. So if anyone has experience with those, then please leave a comment and let me know what you suggest because that would be a big deal for me to get back out on the trails in this weather because last time I went out uh, with all this snow on the rocks I seemed to take you know, half a slip back with every other step so my times went down of course but the, the work was uh, definitely increased to get the same distance so I want to get some micro spikes and make it safer too since it's some pretty good incline and decline on my trail runs out here uh, since I run just above Salt Lake uh, if you go up just a little to the east of the Capitol building up above the cemetery that's on the avenues uh, once you get past all of the houses all those big houses that are like mm, like five eh, like three to fifteen million dollars uh, they're nice houses. I like them. But uh, you go beyond that and you get the even nicer view. Way more valuable than the houses where there's just nothing man-made. And I've had deer cross my path. I heard coyotes howl. Um, you can see some wildlife. And once you get a few miles out, then you really can't see anything other than the horizon to the west and southwest, uh, anything that was man-made. And that's one of my favorite parts about those trails. You can go up and in and then down as you get over some of the hills. And then you can do a 360 and you can't see anything but nature. And depending on the tracks that you see, it might be a little scary. I've seen carcasses and bones from winter feedings from wildlife, but uh, for the most part it's just beautiful. Anyways, if any of you that are watching this have comments about experiences that you have particularly enjoyed about trail running or scary experiences, um, just like I, I think I told in the first upload that I made about the experience I had where I almost stumped on a pretty good size uh, diamondback rattler and uh, lucked away without any problems. So if any of you have an experience like that, then go ahead and leave me a comment and, or uh, do a video response, that would be really cool. And in the meantime, oh, and if anybody else does crazy hour runs, like a midnight run or a run at 3 in the morning or 2 in the morning like I often find myself doing after I get done studying for 5 or 10 hours after class and just feel like my head's about to explode and need some way to cool down and process and just forget about everything except for the ground and where I'm at on it. If you have that experience or custom, then please leave a comment or uh, a video response. That would be really great. In the meantime, uh, enjoy nature, enjoy running. Thank you.